Welcome back my product junkies. I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today I have some more curly hair products to review. And not just any products, the products you've been requesting me to buy, which is the Maui Moisture line. I finally went ahead and just bought, you know, like all of them. So I ended up buying the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask and their curl smoothie. So I'm going to be doing a full wash day routine using all of these products and I'm gonna show you exactly how I applied all of them. Now let me tell you why I even bought these products. Besides the fact that you guys asked me a million times to buy them, I immediately saw them going down the aisle because they have such amazing packaging. I love the pretty colors of all their bottles. There's blue, pink, orange, green, and I am a sucker for cute packaging. So once I saw how cute they were, I instantly gravitated towards them. And then I looked at the bottle and they put a beautiful label with everything us curly girls need to know. It says, there's no mineral oil, no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no sulfates, no synthetic dye, and no ALES. It's a lot of stuff it does not have that we don't want. It also says it is vegan, eco-friendly, and it has pure coconut water and pure aloe juice. The main thing that they're like bragging about on their bottle and like this big label, it says it's made with 100% aloe juice as its first ingredient. So I definitely respect a brand that understands how important it is for us to know what types of ingredients are in these products, especially for us curly girls that really try to avoid certain things. And I'm happy to say that that same label is on all of their products and carries throughout their entire collection. So let's go ahead and start with the shampoo and conditioner. I end up buying the Nourish and Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is for dry hair. It says it's supposed to hydrate, detangle, and gentle. Be gentle? It's kind of a weird one to put on there. But it has creamy coconut milk, sheer guava oil, and wholesome mango butter. Each bottle has 13 fluid ounces. They're pretty decent sized bottles. And let's go ahead and do a little smell test. Oh yes, it smells very tropical. You definitely get that coconut milk smell. But it's a very light scent, so it's not too overbearing if you don't like strong scents, but it's just enough to make you go, ah. I have been using the shampoo conditioner for a while. It's funny how you see like my shampoo bottle is up to here and my conditioner bottle is already down to here, but that's definitely a curly girl thing as you know. Now let me show you exactly how I apply the shampoo conditioner in the shower. Obviously starting off with the shampoo, you will see that it does suds up a lot. I personally love when my shampoo suds up, it just makes me feel like I'm cleaning even if it's only a mental thing. But even though it does lather, it does not have sulfates, which is very important. After I wash out the shampoo, I do then go in with the conditioner. And I would say that this conditioner has a pretty good slip. Not amazing, but good. And I did detangle just by finger detangling to really see how well it was going to get through my hair and my knots. And overall, it does a pretty good job. Moving on to outside the shower, I also personally deep condition my hair once a week. So I bought the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. This is for dry, damaged hair, and it's supposed to soften, quench, and repair our hair. This one in particular has creamy shea butter, rich coconut oil, and pure macadamia oil. Doing a little smell test. This one also does smell really good, but it's a very, very light scent. It does smell like your typical shea butter, coconut type of mixture, but it is nice and refreshing. I applied this right out the shower to damp hair, and I made sure to rake it through in sections to really get every single curl and to moisturize my hair. Now when I deep condition, I usually let the mask sit on my hair for 20 minutes. Probably should have read the bottle before I apply it to my hair because it says that you can use this as a deep conditioning treatment in the shower and leave on for five minutes and rinse. I personally like to use my mask outside the shower, and then it also says, after the shower, you could use it as a leave-in treatment. Apply a small amount to damp hair, then comb it or finger to tangle and style as usual. So it's also claiming that this could be used as a leave-in to where you don't have to rinse it out at all. That's kind of new to me. But because I read all this after I applied it to my hair, I did put it under a shower cap and a heat cap, and I let it sit and soak into my hair for five minutes. 
After five minutes, I rinsed it out and then I moved on to my styling product. The styling product I got is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Plus Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. And it says it's for thick, curly hair. And this is supposed to hydrate, smooth, and defrizz. A word that all of us curly girls love to hear. This one has rich coconut oil, creamy papaya butter, and wholesome plumeria extract. Now this you can apply to dry or damp hair and you're supposed to apply it in sections and then just leave it on as a styler without rinsing it out. So doing another smell test. This one is definitely my favorite scent out of these four. This one has a more stronger scent and I am very into smells. So you do smell the coconut oil it just smells like vacation, you know? So I just grabbed a big old glob of this stuff and I applied it all throughout my hair. I pretty much apply in just two sections, raking and combing it through, making sure each curl is getting some attention and it's going to be nice and defined. Now for day one, I usually just let my hair air dry and don't really touch it if I'm not going anywhere. But today is day two and these are my results. Overall, I do think the curl smoothie did a pretty good job. I am getting a little bit of frizz in the back and on the top of my head, but majority of my hair does have the nice soft spiral looking curls. If I had to compare the curl smoothie to something, I probably would put it in the same category as the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, as well as the Cantu Curl Cream. It's probably, mm, almost as good as the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but it is better than the Cantu Curl Cream. So it kind of falls right in the middle. So if you're someone with hair that enjoys thick, creamy products, you will most likely like this Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. But if smoothies and creams are a little bit too heavy for your hair because your hair is fine or maybe low porosity, this stuff could be too heavy for your hair where it might weigh it down or feel too greasy. But if your hair is extremely dry and always needs some moisture and loves thick, creamy butters, this could be a great affordable and natural ingredient product for you to try. In conclusion, should you buy the Maui Moisture line? I think you should. I love that it's only $6.99. I love that they all have natural ingredients and they have so many different versions within their line and they specify everything for your exact curl type. This one says for dry hair, for thick hair, for damaged hair, for breaking hair, whatever you want, it says it right on the label so it's easy for you to choose what product you should try. They also are becoming very readily available at Target, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, stores like that, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. I think if I had to give them a grade, I'd give them like a B plus, like a solid B plus. If you are looking for something that is affordable with healthy ingredients, definitely give it a try. And if you have tried any of these Maui Moisture products, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think and which ones you like the best. If you want to see me continue to use these products and see how long the smoothie can make my wash days last, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee so I can give you day-to-day -day updates on how well all the products work. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews on Sunday. So I will see you all again next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.